Hey guys, it is Kevin here in Japan with another video about stuff about Japan. I wanted to talk today about something called silver workers. Ever heard of that? Silver workers. And basically, in Japan, the term silver workers refers to people who are um, senior citizens who are still working. And that's a very common thing here in Japan. And it's something that really kind of surprised me when I first came here years ago to see uh, when I would commute to work in the morning to see basically the office worker salarymen who are clearly in their 60s and 70s. Um, with their shirt and ties on heading to work like everybody else in the morning and um, You know, I guess I suppose there's a lot of reasons for this um, Pensions maybe aren't what they used to be uh, or pensions just aren't um, Very much therefore people are forced to work until they're um, quote-unquote golden years and uh, not very golden if that's the case and uh, Yeah, so people often have to work quite late in life um, also, what you'll see are, you know, uh, people who maybe, you know, weren't able to find those kind of mm, big career for life type jobs and have worked kind of uh, seasonally or temporary. Temporary workers, the, the working situation is really bad here in Japan where a lot of companies that once upon a time did hire full-time employees with pension plans and this and that just hire people on like three-year contracts and people just bounce from three-year contract to three-year contract to three-year contract, not getting the pension plan that others may have or that once upon a time they may have had it themselves. So they're just forced to work uh, you know, later in life. Um, uh, there's also, too, one thing I've heard is that often you have people, men often, uh, for example, they were a salaryman, an office worker, and for their entire careers, they basically lived their job. And I've heard that you know there are a, a lot of you know Japanese men um, who, because all they ever did was work, 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 long days, six days a week, seven days a week, they never developed hobbies, they never developed pastimes. So all of a sudden, they get to the point where they, their company says, "You've got to retire now," and they retire and they don't have any interests outside of their former jobs, they don't have hobbies. Basically, they've got nothing to do. So in that case, there are some men who find jobs doing different things because of the fact that it's something for them to do. Now, on kind of a more whimsical note, I suppose, um, I've also heard, and I've heard this from my wife and her friends and different people who are Japanese, that often uh, housewives, or, uh, I should say, or you know, uh, these men, their their wives, basically kick them out of the house. And I mean, not like kick them out, like you're you're gone out of here, but actually force them to find a job because they're so annoying having them around. So basically, you've had maybe a, a woman who's been the homemaker her whole time, married to this husband who's always working, always working, always working. Now all of a sudden, um, this you know your husband who was never home before for 35 years. Um, because he was always working all of a sudden now he's there every day and he doesn't have any hobbies or pastimes so he's bored which means he's annoying the heck out of you all the time and following you around and wanting you to entertain him so you can't take it anymore so you may say go you need to do something and they basically are you know told to go find a job so they have something to do um, that's I mean now that, I'm not making this stuff up, guys. These are, these are all stuff I've heard this from Japanese people have told me. Uh, more than one person has told me the same thing. Um, so, you know, there are people who are become who are silver workers because of uh, unfortunate predicaments in life, um, because of the temporary work situation. So they go from contract to contract, never actually being able to have a proper pension. Therefore, they have to work later in life. Um, there are those who uh, will find that essentially maybe they did retire from their, their career, but the pension is just not big enough to live a comfortable life, so they, they're forced to find work. You have those who, who find work because they're just bored and they got nothing else to do, and those who are, in a way, forced to find work because uh, if they don't, their wives will kill them. <laughs> so um, that is a little bit about silver workers here in, in Japan. Um, and I mean, even like where I work, we have uh, a gentleman who would be quote unquote a silver worker and he's kind of like a handyman and he's actually retired. He had like a government job his whole career and he retired. And uh, so, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a very interesting thing. So I just thought of making a video about silver workers because I've recently I've heard my wife and a few other people mention that term and I've heard it in the news quite a bit as well recently, especially because of Japan's aging population. One of the things is that I think what's going to happen in future years is older people are going to have they're going to be forced to work more because they're not going to have uh, 
a workforce, a proper workforce. As, as Japan's population gets older and older, there's not, there's definitely not enough people to, to fill jobs that need to be filled. So people will be forced to work longer and longer. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Some information about Japan, Japanese culture, and all that stuff. If you like the video, click like. If you like the channel, subscribe to the channel. My name's Kevin. I've been living in Japan for a long time. Um, and uh, yeah, check out all the links below. Go check out my podcast, the Just Japan Podcast. Each week, I bring to you a different guest who will talk to you about some awesome stuff related to Japan. Um, if you want to, if you're curious, if uh, to 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 check out some cool Japanese goods. Check out my Etsy shop, Luck of Japan. The link is below as well. Go check that out. Some awesome stuff over there. Uh, it's, a, it's a new Etsy shop, brand new. It's just a few weeks old. Go check it out. All right. All those things are below. That's it for me in Japan. I think it's going to rain, so I better get inside. Later.